good day, good day, my own ones. Um, here is another thing that I need to put in through for all of y'all. Encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11. Now the thoughts on this verse for the day, I will break it like that for you. Now while Paul's exhortation here yeah, is excellent, it is the style of the exhortation we should especially notice. We live in an age where we are constantly pressured to emphasize the novel new or improved versions of things. But in our lives as Christians, our knowledge always exceeds our obedience. So more often than we like to think, we need to remind each other of what we are doing right and just simply say, hey, you're doing well. Just keep doing what you're doing. And on while Paul, Paul's ex Exhortation here is excellent. It is the style of the exhortation we should especially notice. We love, of course, where we constantly are pressured. Show and tell, shoulda, coulda, and woulda, and all that more, the bag and chop, and uh, boom, boom, ba. But at the end of the day, it goes without saying, I'm actually salt without the good card, okay? So I'm going to put it to you like this. Because I'm salt without God, He made this promise to me. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. That's Philippians 4, 6. In seven. I'm going to close this with a prayer. Faithful Father, thank you for noticing and keeping a record of the things I've done that are good and pleasing to you, my good God. Please help me keep doing those things that please you. Please help me to do the things that please you, my good God. Only to do it better that it may be pleased and glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Keep well, y'all. God bless. I'm back.